Yep. And I am done. All four finished are ready for priming. However, I do have some more prep to do that's non-bondle related and won't take me very long. And I wanted to show you or point out why. Um, so I primed this thing six weeks ago or five weeks ago, seven weeks ago, I don't know, whatever it was. And um, it cured totally. All the uh, solvents had outgassed and so on and so forth. So um, nice hard, nice hard uh, a shell of epoxy primer, which tended to gum up my gum up my um, my my sanding paper here. This is this is a light case. So in order for me to get this nicely cured uh, surface ready for the next coat of primer. I've got to you know, buff it up again. So you see here where I've not sanded into it, it's nice and dark. And then here where it's milky, kind of whitish. This is a scratched up surface and it's got enough grooves in there for the next coat of primer to hang into. And uh, as I get more and more into it, you can see that these are not grooves in the, uh, in the metal, that's grooves in the paint. So I'm going to do my best to kind of smooth those out. Here's another example. Smooth those out. I'll prime over that um, in nice, successive, thin, even coats. And I should have a really good surface to do the final wet sanding and uh, block sanding in the whole nine yards. So um, I plan on using the same epoxy primer, same color, same everything. Um, I've narrowed down my final color to either blue or red, probably blue. Maybe, um, and yeah, who knows? I'm looking to get my engine in a couple weeks, so I'll uh, I'll switch gears from body work to chassis work, and uh, I'm gonna build up a little jig with my saw horses here, some sort of a thing to to mount my uh, my fenders to, so that they're more or less uh, up and down like they would be if they were hung on the car. I've got. I can I can prime and paint the entire thing like like it is now and not the best way of doing it. I couldn't give a crap if I paint on the inside of the uh, the fenders uh, for right now, um, but uh, I'm more worried about the uh, the, uh, the the uh, the outer portion. So I need to put them up on the underside of the the big ones here. In here, in here. Um, I've got some primer, but uh, not as much as I want. I'm also going to look at what else do I have in here? Hold on, I'm going to press. I hit the light. There we go. Um, yeah, evidence of a really great priming job there. <laughs> uh, but in places where I've got uh, where I've, where I've had some work done, uh, a couple of spots. Let me get my screwdriver. Where is that damn thing? Um, 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 um. Yeah, this will do. This is, uh, I don't know what it was or why it was there. I suspect it was something that was brazed on to pop out a dent. Who knows? But because of the heat, the primer comes up with it. Same thing here. See how it's bubbled up. So I may have a couple of other spots. Let's take a look. I'm gonna go, I've got that to clean up a little bit too. I've heard about that. Um, so the inner portion of this fender doesn't look too bad. I'm thinking of another one that I must have heated up because it's got, there we go, bubbles. I'll just take a wire wheel and get those out. Um, what that is, is a place for rust to form. If I don't have a good chemical bond between the epoxy primer and the metal, at some point, if one of these pops, water gets back in there. A couple of uh, other good examples that I just start rusting from the inside out. Yeah. So, five minutes with the wire wheel. Uh, I have no... Wow, look at all that. Some of this came from when I was pounding on it. I'm not unsurprised. That may be... Yeah, that's... A bit of rust in there, I'll be damned. Yeah, so here's one part that I'm going to completely strip back out and then reprime as it is 
Um, I don't want to do all of this work for it just to rust out in no time flat. Um, that's not rust, that is fiberglass. And the other one, how does this look? Yeah, I don't see any. Yeah, so this is the seam from where I had uh, welded it. Welded the dog, dog leg repair on. Some work in there, I can clean up a little bit. Uh, that's where I was hammering on a uh, dang dent. So I'll wire wheel that up so it's all nice and fresh. And um, put some more. You know what I could do? Tomorrow's Friday. Today's Thursday evening. What I could do is... I need to get a 2x4 or two 2x4s. So I can do my... Um, my painting rig over there. Prep up the back side. Oh, prep up the whole thing. Get everything nice and milky like I've got it over there. That'll be 20 minutes maybe per, per fender. Um, prep the back side. Give the back sides of these things a good hard spray. That didn't sound good. Um, and I got a little bit of stuff to get rid of there. No big deal. Uh, a good hard spray. And then. Uh, let that cure overnight. Do the rest of the outer portion of these things on Saturday. God, then what do I do with the rest of my day? I don't know. I've only got one hobby. Well, there we, well two hobbies. 